Hey, what's going on? My name's Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. Today on Buff Basics, we're gonna be talking about grids, what they are, and some ways you can use them. Grids are really useful modifiers that narrow the spread of light that comes out of your strobe. They can be used as a hair light, a backdrop light, or to create some dramatic light on a portrait. Today we're going to be using the grid on our key light so you can really see the effect that each grid has on the spread of light. The first set of grids we're going to look at today are the honeycomb grids that fit into the standard 7 inch reflector. These grids come in four different options, starting with a 40 degree grid which cuts the beam spread in half from the open 7 inch reflector, all the way down to 10 degrees which gives you a really, really narrow spread of light. For these examples I started with an open 7 inch reflector reflector which gave me an 80 degree spread of light and worked my way down to a 10 degree grid. Take a look at these examples and see how the different grids really affect the image. One thing to keep in mind when shooting with grids is that with a lower degree grid, you're actually having more light get blocked. This means you'll have to compensate for your strobe power depending on the grid you're using. I found that I lost almost a full stop of light from the bare reflector down to the 10 degree grid. The second set of grids we're using today are the 22 inch beauty dish grids, which come in two options, 15 degrees and 30 degrees. Just like the grids on the seven inch reflector, the smaller the number, the tighter the beam spread. For these shots, I wanted to demonstrate how a grid can affect the background in a standard beauty light setup. With my light about five feet from a white background and no grid inside my beauty dish, my spread of light was 130 degrees, which turned my background a shade of light gray. Without changing my light placement at all, I inserted a 30 degree grid and slightly increased the power of my strobe. This allowed the exposure of my model to stay the same while the background turned a dark gray. Finally, with a 15 degree grid, my background fell almost completely to black while the rest of the image stayed relatively the same. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you want to see more of my personal work, be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Ready Light Media. Have a good one.